Hey everyone, so um, I'm coming to you from my kid's fort, but I'm going to show you a feeder that I would not recommend. This is my dome feeder, and um, I've shown it in a previous video, but this is the second feeder, second one of these feeders, uh, same brand and everything that I've gone through, I'd say in about a year and a half, probably only about a year. Um, so both times the same exact thing happened I don't know if you can tell but the part that you screw the the pole into right here has uh, broken off and you can see where where the this is actually part the uh, this gold part was actually part that broke off from here so it's still stuck on so it you know literally cracked off like that the same exact thing happened to two of these in a row um, now I know when you're when you're screwing something in and you do it too tight it'll split you know I, I actually have built uh, put together furniture uh, I work in retail and I put together furniture for the past like I don't know six years or something like that so that's something I know and I can usually kind of feel when I've you know screwed something in uh, it, you know when I should stop screwing something in but this you know for all my experience, I, I could not tell that I was screwing it in too tight. Um, so, you know, a, a day would come where I would just, you know, start turning, turning, and turning, and it, it wouldn't ever tighten. And then, sure enough, I'd lift up and it had broken. And I, I wouldn't feel a pop or anything. Um, you know, with, with furniture, when you're putting furniture together, you can hear it split or you can feel it start to split. But this was just like... It just came off, you know, so there's that piece. Um, so anyway, I, I think even in the video where I talked about this, I, I said it wasn't even one of my my uh, busier feeders, and it, it really isn't. Um, I had just bought a new uh, cylinder to, to put through. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that kind of sucks that I just bought... Uh, food for it um, but this is going to be the last of these that I buy I bought this specifically for bluebirds I have a plan of another feeder I'm going to buy for bluebirds uh, but so this is I'm going to put this one under the category of busts so I would not recommend this this was the uh, uh, Audubon Society brand uh, dome feeder uh, but uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't really recommend any dome feeders because you know this is always going to be plastic on all of them well I'd say most of them until you find one that's not plastic on the bottom you know you run the risk of, of popping it you know and you really can't tell when it's at that point where it's about to split you know so anyway um, yeah so this is under the category of bus I hope that helps you guys um, let me know if you have one of these and l let me know if you've had yours for for years and years and years and what you do to prevent that that from snapping um or you know just let me know if i'm if you think i've done anything wrong um with it um anyway hope that helps thanks for watching